Hey everyone, it is the dude, yes, Rattlegore. Um, I got Rattlegore for free, opening packs, opening, I think, what was it, 300 packs to open, and then I went back to the cookie jar and opened a bunch more. Couldn't help myself. Um, so the deck's called Rattlegore. I think it should be called Rattlegore Prime. I thought that's what I had uh, changed the deck to. So we're actually going to change this here. Because they're both that good. Let's show you guys the deck, though. So you got Athletic Studies. The whole point of the deck is to get to the game. This is a late deck. That's where we want to be. Turn 7 and down is nothing but filled with shenanigans. Tons of fun. But you have to get there first. So how are we going to get there? Let's show you. Athletic Studies. Discover a Rush Minion. Your next one costs one less. So that's good. Board clear. Trying to keep things clean and off of the board. Shield Slam works great with Sword and Board as well as Shield Block. So save those to combo them together so that you've got a nice juicy uh, armor count for when you play your Shield Slams. Sword Board's good. I mean, you could potentially um, get rid of it in the deck. I like it in the deck. This is not my deck, by the way. Um, I can't remember where I got this deck, uh, but I do apologize to whoever did um, make it and came up with it. Um, I can't give you credit here because I cannot for the life of me remember who um, built this deck. But um, the sword and board is good because you're going to deal two damage, you're going to gain two armor, and then if you can push the button, that's a pretty significant little shield slam there for not much mana. Um, so keep that kind of combo in your head. Corsair Cachet. Great card, uh, draw a weapon, give it one durability. If you grab any weapons, definitely throw them away on your opening hand and search for something better because the Corsair Cache is going to an extra one durability. And what are the weapons, you say? Well, we have the Bulwark, which is going to help you late game. Um, that would be a nice 1-5. And then the other one is the Ceremonial Maul. Mm-hmm. be a 2-3. So I kind of like that. Um... You could maybe get rid of one Corsair Cache if you wanted to start getting wicked, more wicked. There's some other things you can do. So, And this deck is totally new to me. I've been playing it for like oh, five days now, six days. And I've only played it probably about ten times. So give me a little, a little slack if I misplay a little bit. I'm still kind of learning the deck. Um, but hopefully I get through it with no misplays here. Blade Storm, the whole thing here... Um, Usually you want to try and find where two of your opponent's minions are the same health, and then use your Blade Storm if you can. That way it kills both the minions. Um, but you can use it just regular if you have to. We talked about this. It's going to help your face late game. Um, the Ceremonial Maul, the trick with this card is you're going to want to play it. There'll be no spell burst because you're going to play it late game, hopefully around turn 9. And if your opponent can't kill it, when you play your Dimensional Ripper at 10, you are now going to get a 10-10 student with Taunt as well as two copies of other minions in your deck. So it just is ridiculous once you make it to the end if you can. The ramming it's a little situational, but I like it. Um, you know, you just want to kind of watch where to, where, to, where to play this card. Shield block we talked about. The Archmage, I'm not... 100% sold on this card. Uh, well, for one reason, the Dimensional Ripper can pull two of them, and that doesn't really excite me that much. Um, and the Shield Block combo that I thought would be good with Archmage Vargas potentially can pull some of the cards that you want to stay in your deck. Um, so, I, you know, the deck definitely needs tweaking in my mind. I don't know if the person who originally made this deck has already done some tweaking to it, but I think I may do some tweaking to it myself. Try to make it just a little bit more beefy, a little bit more my style, where you just, I mean, just wallop the opponent. Um, Kargoth Blade Fist, when you get your Kargoth Prime, he's going to give you 10 armor. Um, I think with each card, you gain 10 armor. I can't remember. We'll see when it, when it changes to the Kargoth. Um, but basically, you're going to gain some armor, so when you get this late game, it's going to do you really well. The Brawl, that's kind of staple. Commencement's where we start to have fun. Turn 7 and down is where all the good stuff is. Summon a minion from your deck. Give it Taunt and Divine Shield. Oh, we'll take that. That's not bad, right? Not bad. Um, there's all kinds of good stuff. So the Commencement's just a really good card. I like it a lot. It's a new card. Deathwing Mad Aspect. If you happen to Commencement Deathwing Mad Aspect, it does not trigger the Battle Cries. 
but you're just sitting with a big, fat, juicy 12-12 with Divine Shield and Taunt. So the commencements are just huge in this deck. Again, that's why I may get rid of Archmage Vargoth. Last match I just played with this that I tried to record, and please let my headphones and mic work this time. Um, I'm definitely going to have to buy some new ones on Amazon because it's uh, just bugging me now. Um, so yeah, let's, you know, this. if any card's going to leave, I think it's Archmage Vargoth. I don't really like it here. But we'll keep playing it until I know better and can figure a better way to start pulling some bigger stuff. Troublemaker's just good. Like, the 3-3 three, three ruffians that attack random enemies, and then your, your opponent has to deal with the troublemaker. And if he doesn't, then we just summon two more 3-3s three, to do more damage to him. So it's super good. Really like that card a lot. Rattlegore, I mean, can you say enough? If the guy can't silence it, he's hosed. And if you're able to pull two, what's going to silence two? Come on, who plays two silences? But maybe, maybe someone does, not me. Uh, Dimensional Ripper, we talked about this. Summon two copies of a minion in your deck. It's just huge. And it's a 10-mana spell. So if you play it on here, you're going to get that 10-10 student with taunts. It's ridiculous. And then the Boom Reaver is just the Boom Reaver. He's really good. Summon a copy, which is great because it's a copy of a minion in your deck. And give it Rush. Um, I don't know. I really like it. Cost me 8,000 dust to craft the rest of that deck. But I thought it was worthy. I think the other decks that I have are probably better. Uh, and I should have probably crafted those. But this is kind of a fun deck. And it's kind of my style. So I just threw it out there and and crafted away, you know. That's a lot of dust. But you got to do what you got to do if you want these all golden decks. So let's see who we face. Don't do well versus the Murlocs or things of rush nature. Usually you don't have enough board clear... Uh, weapons at your disposal that early on and you just can't you just you just can't hang with that kind of stuff so know that you're going to lose to that um i personally hate to play versus the priest because he's a greedy thief and so you know usually i i won't play this deck versus the priest yes, we. this Let's is going to be tough go. the chamois is going to be tough because he goes wide so we'll see how we do this should be a very tough match and the guy's definitely worthy even though i'm playing in casual He's got his little golden hero there. I think we keep everything. We could potentially throw one shield slam away, which doesn't sound bad. Um, but he's going to go super wide on us here. I'm going to throw one. In hopes for a better card. And that's not bad. That's not bad. That helps with the shield slam. So we'll, we'll, that, that works. That works. Prince Malkazar. Okay, uh, playing against Salamata. I don't, I don't know that I played this cat before. I don't. My very, very slow. Uh oh. Okay, that's good. That's good for us. That's good for us. That works. That works. That works. Do we? I really don't want to. I think I want to hold that. Yes. And I definitely want to hold the coin. Car got turned four. It's stupid. It's really good. But let's see what he's playing. Let's see what kind of deck he's playing first, and then we'll try to adjust. We'll try to adjust. Do we just hit the button here? No, we can pull the two. And we have no weapon, so I like that. Ooh. Bulwark. Now five durability. Not bad late game. Let's go. You wanted to hit my face? Yeah, that's going to take a minute. Okay, so now we need to start thinking about what we're going to do. Which is fine. We're totally in control here. Everything's good. There's no issues. No problemo. We can coin out this. And that's not bad. I hate to use my coin early, but I'm going to. I'm going to do it. If he doesn't have a replacement for it, then he can't kill me. Well, he could, but I mean, it's going to take something to do it. So I kind of like where I'm at right this second. I do hate to lose that coin, though. It's like the coin is awesome. Yeah, that card's got to go. That card has to go. So what shall we do here? We can pull the three... I think we still go here. 
I'm gonna rebutton. Do I? Do I? Is the question. I wanna save it. So I'm gonna say no. Just hold back. You don't have to use your mana every turn. Come on, good players. And like I said, this deck, I have not mastered it, so cut me some slack, people. But it is all shiny, so I do deserve extra credit there. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's very nice of you. Do we go back to the 4 well again against the O2? I mean, he's not doing anything. Literally. He's not doing anything. I just see nothing that I want to use. I see nothing that I want to use. Look upon me, the aspect of death. Hopefully he knows that's a greetings. Not like I'm trying to slam him around, but we'll see. I don't like emotes. I'm not a big fan of the emote jam up. Usually I squelch a lot of my opponents. I can't stand the stupid, the stupid dog. It's like, really? Oh, and there's where your coin would have worked out real well right there. Real well. Um, so do we go two here, damage, and then and then play this against that? I mean, do the do the two right here? I think we do. Yeah, I think we do. And we can lose this here. We can also go and just let it play, but let's let's kill it, because he's gonna do things with it, because he's that kind of guy. He's that kind of guy. I think we three, and then we two. I think we two first, then we three. Now next turn when we play the seven, we should get a juicy minion. Can I still swing with it is the question. I think I can. I will not be denied. So I'm going to. Okay. Because you know how the shammy is. Once he gets wide, he starts doing stupid stuff, and we don't want stupid stuff to happen just yet. You cannot stop That's kind of stupid stuff. That's fine. We'll be fine here. We'll be fine here. Give me a good one, please. That's a good one last time I checked. That's a good one last time I checked. Um, do we swing the two into the O2? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that, that, that changes now. Does he have an answer for it? Don't do it. Don't you be sapping my stuff. Don't you be sending all my stuff back. Don't be that kind of guy. That's fine. You like that. Just go ahead. All day long. That's fine. Because now he has one, we have one. We're fine with that. Now. Now what do we do? Here's the crucial part. Do we play the eight? Or do we play the three, which slams against the nine four, takes care of the shield? Um, it only is going to have that. Ooh, I kind of like that. I do, because you can't play the. Um, A conundrum. You can't play the. Uh, yeah, don't screw that up. The Lord knows that's a rookie move I could have done before. It's going to lose the taunt here, right? Thank you. Um, there goes the headphones. I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't know what's going on with these things. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. Well, that kind of stinks. I said but we'll go there. We'll go there. I do like that he's running a faceless manipulator. Like, who runs that? Like, okay. Like, I get it. You definitely played the card in the best spot you ever could have. Warrior, your strength becomes your weakness. No, it's never my weakness. Come on. Stop kidding yourself. We have goodies coming up. Let's all watch. Let's all watch. Turn nine, I guess. The eight's coming out. We could potentially do a shield slam for six. It's probably not going to help us here. Um, I guess we take the nine, nine, and the Rattlegore into the nine, nine. Potentially could take it into the 8-8, eight, eight, but I just don't, uh, I guess we could. Yeah, that's what we could do. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go with the 8 here. Mm-hmm. You're in my school now! Mm, yes, you are. Bring that down to a 7-7. Seven, seven. Take this over. Mm -hmm. Now he's an 8-8. Eight, eight. 
So no one has taunt, but these three, these three threes are going up. That's not really what we wanted from the three threes, but okay, that's good. At least you guys are seeing a good match, right? This is a good match so far. Okay. That's so okay. Mm hmm. Discover a mech, what? At the end, yeah, we know that part, but what, how did the uh, sledge belcher get the extra boost? What did I miss there? I don't know, but I missed something. So, turn 10. I think we're going here. Ooh, Prawl's kind of juicy, too. This is too good, though, really. Right? Is this the way to go? What's left? Cargoth Primes? Yeah, we're going here. That's kind of nice. Last time I checked. And these guys go here. That goes there. We pull out the three threes. Are you going to cry? I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, looking at two 12-12s is pretty scary. It's turn 10, though. What do you got for us, buddy? This is a good match. I like this. So far, so good. At least you guys are seeing a good match. It's not all one-sided. It's a pretty good 12-12 to steal. It's time I checked. Too bad we're going to keep pulling things out. And we can darn near take him down. Darn near. Okay. Okay. So what are you going to do with your two minions? That's the biggest question. You're supposed to take the 7-1 into the 6-6. Six, six, unless you're very not so smart. That's what you're supposed to do, matey. And then you just leave the 8. Problem is that gives us 20 damage, 26 damage. So we just need one more. And the Bulwark would get us the 1. So I don't know if that was the play. So pretty much that's going to be the game right there. 19 and uh, 12. Yeah, that's the game. That's the game, right? Am I missing something? 19, 6. It's 25. Oh, it's 31. It's GG. That's good stuff. Let's pull him out, though, just for fun. Oh, another 12-12. Oh, it's so good, right? Cry, baby. That's so mean. Oh, that was brutal, right? Did I miss something there? I'm sure I misplayed something. Because I'm good like that. But anyway, that really showed you the deck. We didn't get to do everything I wanted to show you, but we definitely got to do some good good stuff, some fun stuff. We played a nice little opponent there, um, and I think it was worthy. So I'm glad I crafted the deck golden. Glad you got to see it. Certainly leave me some comments below if you would. I do appreciate those. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and uh, good luck as always. We'll see you next time.